And we're back with another rapper. Wait a minute, what is this now? Well, the title screen kind of gives it away, as does the name of this particular video, Civilization 4. I've been waiting for a long time to do this game. And I'm not going to lie, I've already attempted to do this and the settings were all screwy. So that ended in bad times, but it's cool, we're here now. Uh, my previous history of this particular franchise... Uh, I'm fairly recent newcomer as opposed to an old newcomer, I suppose that is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, and I got Civilization V about a year and a half ago and have played the ever-loving crap out of that particular game. Uh, but I haven't played four in years. I played it a while ago and it wasn't for very long because I was not very good at it. And it's one of those games where it takes some time to get used to it, so for those of you who have no idea what to expect from this, I will attempt to the best of my abilities to explain what exactly you've gone yourself into by watching this video. But yeah, hopefully this will be a fairly long running series. Uh, this first load of episodes will of course cover this one game, uh, and games of civilization tend to take a while, or at least depending on what settings you do, but yeah, mine are likely to take a few hours per game. So, I'll babble on more once I actually get the game started up, for goodness sake. So, I'm going to randomise everything. Uh, and being that I've had one practice game, uh, so I'm going to keep the difficulty relatively low. And I'll probably stick with, say, five people. So, it's me and four AI. Sounds about right. So, let's get on with it. Now the basic aim of this game, uh, you start off as a fairly ancient civilization in roughly the year, I think it's 4000 BC, and over time you develop your skills and you become an uber powerful civilization, and that is the aim, to be the best civilization you can be. And there are several ways of doing this, which I'll show you guys as soon as this gets set up. And we have been handed, due to picking a random civilization, the Spanish Empire. We're apparently the Queen of Spain, Isabella. <laughs> the sun rises in the year 4000 BC. Since time immemorial, I think that's how you say that, the Spanish people have lived a nomadic life. After years of wandering, they are ready to settle down and found your first city. The fashion. Your people have vested absolute power in you, that's probably a very bad idea, trusting that you can build a civilization to stand the test of time. So, I'm kind of at beginner rank as it stands, so you guys will kind of be going along with me, which is kind of nice, that's the idea for this particular series. But anyway, there are several ways to win this game, and they are shown here. Uh, you can win by conquest, which just involves wiping out all other civilizations, and I'm sure a lot of people that play this game take that specific route. Uh, there's domination, where you have to own 100% of the world's population, or 68% of land area. Uh, so we might be able to do that if we get our cities large enough. Uh, cultural, you have three cities with legendary culture, and I'll get to that maybe later when it explains it more. I think I kind of have some basic help settings still up. Uh, and then Space Race, my personal favourite, is eventually you reach a point at which you can start building pieces for a space shuttle. And then first launch their space shuttle into space, where else? They win the game. Or we could win through diplomacy, which is if you accumulate enough votes at the United Nations. Or you could just win by time. If none of those happen and we reach the year 2050 AD, the highest score wins the game! Man, this sounds like some sort of like board game and structural manual, but I'll get to the action very shortly. So, yeah. I'll start off here and probably evaluate on everything we find as I go along. So, it seems as though I start off with a warrior, who is your basic fighter unit, as well as a settler. And he's very important at what do you know? Settling! It's good at founding new cities. Uh, now, I'm not sure what is beneficial, but this place looks nice to settle our first city. Um, right, oh, that has more food. I don't know, like, where's beneficial, but I'll just put it here. I'll probably do a lot of things, like, 
beginners will probably wonder what the hell's going on, and people who are knowledgeable with this game will probably be like, What are you doing, you idiot? You're doing it wrong! So yeah, I, this playthrough will probably satisfy no one, but we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to keep the city names default, because I can't think of anything to name. I could have done Lord of the Rings names, I guess, but it's too late now. I don't know if you can rename them. So anyway, what can we build? We can build a melee unit, which... Uh, previous... My test run had it so that I didn't really have much of a military. I was very advanced scientifically, and then England came and invaded me and destroyed me completely, so I guess that's not going to work. Uh, so what we want to do... I am going to found a... Is there a scout? Oh, I guess we can't get scouts yet. Uh, let's make a... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, let's make a worker. So what I want to do, basically, is get all of these close resources that are also very useful. So here we have wine, and here we have cows. So basically, we are wanting to get that as soon as possible. There are so many ways you can approach this game. Uh, I'm going to send my warrior here in the town so that invading lions and barbarians do not completely destroy me. Uh, but then there's this whole area, which is the technology tree. And this shows how far scientifically your civilization's have developed. And eventually you get into some crazy shenanigans like fusion, uh, ecology, robotics. But we're just starting off with fishing and the wheel. So yeah, we're quite a ways away. Um, so I do want a scout. So I'm going to go with hunting. I think that's probably the best thing to do right now. Because there's a, vi a tribal village here. And if you visit your villages, you get good things. However, if you visit them with this warrior, uh, they tend to attack you. So let's not do that. Uh, and of course, there's money in the game. And that's used for various things, which we'll also get round to. Uh, but I'm going to decrease the amount of research I put into researching technologies and have a bit of gold coming my way. So, a lot of this game may be me just ending my turn repeatedly. We'll see how it goes. And it also depends how much shit I get into. Uh, but we're going to... Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we're going to fortify you. Yes, okay. Be quiet. Uh, so now you're going our city. So now I guess we have to wait for our worker to be built. However long that's going to take. Or our technology. Uh, also, I guess at some point, uh, culture basically determines how quickly your cities grow. Oh, there's another tribal village up there. So I think it says there once you get 10, then the borders will expand, which is always nice. And it seems as though... Right. The idea of these bars is that the top bar shows how far you are to your next uh, added citizen. The one means the population. And that bottom bar is the current unit your finger's working on. And it seems that we do not have any food in our society at the moment. That's fairly terrible. <laughs> Which is why we're not gaining anyone. But we'll work on it. So yeah. Hopefully... Oh, okay. If you chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Now, is that Leonard Nimoy? I think it might be, and if it isn't, it sounds very much like him. So, oh! Hey, we expanded into the village, and that gave us a map, apparently. Oh, that's nice. Um, right. So, we've researched hunting now, as it said, so we can build a scout and a spearman, but we don't have the resources for it. Uh, yeah. As I said, I realise this is probably a very large jump to it. What the hell are you doing? Uh, for those of you who are very new to this game. But hopefully you'll kind of follow along. Uh, if you do want tutorials, it's probably not the place to visit. There's probably plenty of videos explaining such a thing. It really does uh, come with practice though. So, I need food. So let's go with agriculture. Agriculture's nice. Uh, yeah, so we expanded to the village, which... Oh, we've got another village here! Oh boy. Yeah, I know the borders have expanded. I just saw it happen. Right, so it did show a map. But I can't really see much. Hopefully there's no civilizations to reach those villages before me. I'm also hoping England isn't on this map. Because they screwed me over last time. And I don't like England. <laughs> there, I said it. An Englishman who hates his own country. How very unpatriotic I am. This work is taking a while to build. Uh, time in terms of... Oh, someone founded Buddhism. 
positive. Bizarre music indicated. Um, yeah, religions have a whole different aspect to them, but they're mostly used for your happiness of your cities. Uh, so hopefully we found one relatively soon, but if we don't, then that's okay, I suppose. I'm really not sure how best to work that system. Uh, I really should have built a sea out first. Pray that your summers be wet and your winters clear. So now we can actually get food into our city, which is helpful. Uh, yeah, obviously we are wanting to expand and build more cities when the time comes. But we'll get there. First we need to actually produce food and citizens on our first city, our capital. Kind of needs to be our main hub for everything. I'm currently just waiting for my work to be built. Here we go! Uh, well, next let's... Can we do a scout? We can. I do kind of want a scout. But meanwhile, let's send this worker here and have him build a farm. We need a lot of food, that's for sure. But for now, it seems as though we're gaining food out of nowhere. Alright, we're finally growing something. So, whilst we wait for our um, worker to build this farm, we will be researching mining any moment now. The man who moves a mountain so what you want to do early game is establish yourself and then go and attack everyone else if that's your plan. If you go and attack everyone early on you'll probably fail. Uh, so here's the point at which I'm supposed to decide what kind of victory I want to go for. I tend to be a very large pacifist so I would rather go for science related things however uh, I tried that before and then I put so little funding to my military that I kind of failed. <laughs> it went very badly as you could imagine. So, where shall I go? Right. Hang on, let's see what resources we have and aim for that. Um, right. I think we might want... I like the sound of gross. I might be able to animal husband, but see, it says here on the bottom left what you need for such a thing and we need monarchy to my to a uh, farm wine. Don't know what kind of logic that makes. I'm sure there's some historical reason behind that. And for this, you need animal husbandry cows, which is what we're actually researching. So there you go. Uh, where is animal husbandry anyway? Uh, Monarchy is right here. Uh, so we want to be aiming for that actually. As good as those cows are, I do kind of want to get to monarchy first before anyone else. Uh, because it means that we can actually no. See, I I do want a religion. Let's try for a religion. Uh, I sense someone's going to beat me to this. Hinduism in Spain makes a whole lot of sense. But yeah, a recurring pattern is that other people will beat you to things such as those, which is annoying. Hopefully that's not the case. You're taking a while to build this farm, that's for sure. Oh, we found someone, Catherine of Russia. Well, hello there, Nefeshu. It is, it is clearly not a female voice. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. I'm always looking for closer relations with other leaders, if you get my drift. Oh? Oh? What are you hinting at? I see your quizzical eyes. Now nah, we're right. Anyway, there shall be peace in our time, as usual. Now that means that a Russian has found us. There he is. Russian scout. And for some reason, he has not gone to this tribal village. I kind of don't want them to nick our tribal villages. I want them, goddammit. So anyway, we have more food. Uh, yeah, we have two citizens now. That's excellent. So now... Um, where should I put you to work? You can work here. I think we'll probably be wanting to build more farms for now. Uh, and then we'll probably want to work on building mines. I don't know if you can do that just with mining. Because that increases the production of your ci uh, city, meaning we can build units a lot quicker. Which, of course, is good. We've trained a scout, so now... It's probably best if we build another worker, and then I'll improve my military. But until then... Ah, oh, we nicked that bloody village. It's okay. We've got two more here, so... It's cool. I sent our scout on a reconnaissance mission. Oh, red! Villagers gave us gold, and there's apparently deer up here. Don't know why we'd want deer, but I can't really complain if we do obtain such a thing. Oh, right, that's added a bit to our treasury. Kind of strange how the world would operate on the same currency. That's clearly not how it would work. But who knows? Right, ooh. Oh! Did we found it? 
and the race of men who walk upon the earth. I've actually not founded a religion at this point. Oh! Excellent! We founded Hinduism in Madrid. Makes sense. That's why I love this game. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that entails. Hinduism has spread in your lands. Converting will produce plus one in all cities with uh, Hinduism. Yes, start the incantations. Excellent. All right. So we're already doing better than we were before. Um, so let's continue. Why is it going for priesthood first? Oh, that's why. Uh, I guess suddenly. Wait, I kind of want. Oh, hang on. Why do I have to found masonry to found that? I don't know what kind of sense that makes. I don't understand this tree tech tree exactly. Oh, we'll go this way. Because so I do want this wine, damn it. <laughs> and then maybe we'll work on science. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, so now we have Hinduism. That's nice. Yep, it just told me that. Right. Oh, wow, you built that farm super quickly. Yeah, okay, yep, I am, I'm aware I converted to Hidden Wisdom. Uh, let's go here. That looks like a fairly bustling place. You can't direct the wind, oh! But you can adjust your sail. So apparently this tribal village knew how to sail places. <laughs> and now I know how to sail places. That, uh, I do kind of need a coastal city. Uh, if this map is by an ocean, it would be very useful, because then we could send boats out and such. Oh, and uh, that's Russia. It's cool, it's just Russia. Damn Russians, I don't trust them. You saw how their leader looked at me. <laughs> with her eyes, with her gazing eyes. I think I might love her. No, it's okay. Oh, there's silk here. Uh, we may want to expand here. I also want to try find where Russia actually is. So that we avoid settling lands too close to them. Uh, but I also want to beat them to some lands. But if we're too close, they might go, Hmm, you're too close to us. Whoa! And we don't want that. So, we're near some corn as well. You know what, let's, next turn, I'll send my scout out to the west. Let's send him here. Uh, hopefully we won't run into any barbarians or such things. There's definitely a lot of wine around where I am. Oh, Catherine adopts slavery. Well, that's just dandy. What a brutish person. Ooh. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious. Okay, to you. okay. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. I still think and that's Leonard Nimoy. Uh, so, actually, this helps our religion. Where's Hinduism? And turn one citizen into a priest. Now, what does that actually do? Let's find out. I've never needed to do this before, because I've yet to found a religion. Come on! Alright. So, I only have two citizens anyway. So, I have no particular desire to do that just yet. Also, I'm not entirely sure what that does. This is a whole learning process for me. Because uh, this kind of thing wasn't in Civilization V. So I'm just learning about everything. Hindu temple, okay, that's what I just looked at. Uh, I want to... I knew I wanted to build a military, but I also want to... Actually... Do I really care that much about culture? I think I'll just make another warrior. I do kind of need to defend myself against all the bullshit in the world today. Damn people looking for oil and such. Not that we're at that stage yet at all. Any magic up you catch? Who knows? You may catch the magic up of this dream. Now people here are obsessed with Pokemon. Now what is this? Now it's like sleet snow. What is happening? Even for this game it's ridiculous. Man, crazy ass weather. So what is this place? Let's find out. 